This team is an embarrassment. This team is an embarrassment. The Cleveland Browns organization is an embarrassment on the NFL. It's an embarrassment on the city of Cleveland. And it's an embarrassment on the people of Cleveland. We should not have to watch this. We should not have to be forced to watch this every freaking week. This team has supremely, supremely underachieved the last two years. Supremely underachieved. Kevin Stefanski is not a good head coach. He's not a good head coach. Joe Woods and Mike Prefer, get your sorry butts out the door. You guys are not coming back. No matter how much you guys want to spin, but the defense was getting better. We were a t- we were a bottom five defense before, but now we're oh, we're middle of the pack. Yay! Nope. Get out. Get out. Get out. Joe Woods and Mike Prefer, you should not be anywhere near this team next season. I'm giving the Browns 48 hours. If they do not fire Joe Woods or Mike Prefer in the next 48 hours, I will lose my mind. How can you even justify bringing them back another year? You can't. You can't. Not after what you saw today. You have no interior linemen. You have nobody to stop the run. Nobody. Kevin Stefanski is not a good head coach. I think, can we just get that out of the way? All the Stefanski stands and everything like that. Kevin Stefanski is not a good head coach. He's a decent offensive coordinator. He's not a good head coach. I personally, I would not mind if Kevin Stefanski gets fired after this year. Only if you can find somebody better to replace him with. My opinion, if Mike Vrabel gets fired from Tennessee, sayonara, Kevin. Here's Get Mike Vrabel, please. Because at least he knows how to use his best weapons on offense. Unlike Kevin Stefanski, who only ran Nick Chubb 12 times today. Who also averaged over six yards a carry. So please, for the love of God, tell me how that's a great offensive game plan. This team did not look like they were playing for anything today. They played like they were going through the motions. Like they were playing a freaking scrimmage. Like this is another preseason game. What what I saw today, it seriously, it looked like Kevin Stefanski was just trying to give Deshaun Watson some more uh, uh, pillowy, some more comfort uh, to play next season. He's like, okay, Deshaun, you know, we may not have to go to the playoffs this year, but we just want to get you more comfortable in the offense, okay? We want to coddle you. We, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you can't make the plays. We just want you to get more into the rhythm of the offense, right? No! You're playing your division rival. You're playing your biggest rival. You're trying to knock them out of the playoffs. And you go out there this week with that? You look like you didn't have a game plan. Seriously, what was the game plan today? Can somebody tell me what the Browns were trying to do? I, what are they? What were they trying to do? They ran. They fucking threw the ball like thirty times, and they only ran it like five, like fifteen. They, again, Stefanski's not using his best assets on offense. Offensive line today was terrible. It was terrible. Seriously, this team has underachieved all season long. It is an indictment on Kevin Stefanski this year that he cannot use his best weapons on offense correctly. And you got crap like this today. What was the game plan? I'll say it again. What was the game plan? Because sure as hell, it looked like you guys were phoning it in. Nobody played hard except for Nick Chubb today, in my opinion. Nick Chubb and Miles Garrett were the only ones who played well. Seriously, I don't, Grant Delpit couldn't tackle. He, he literally could not tackle. He looked like he could not give two shits to be out there today. Seriously, Martin Emerson played well. He was he was going up against uh, George Pickens. I'll give him that one because he was trying to play against George Pickens. Okay, fine. I'll give you guys. I'll give you Martin Emerson. I'll give you Nick Chubb. I'll give you Miles Garrett. Offensive line was terrible. Deshaun Watson had no room to go, and if he did have room to throw, he fucking held onto the ball for like ten seconds, and then he got sacked. All I know is that this team has underachieved massively the last two years. This is an indictment on Kevin Stefanski, and also it's an indictment on Andrew Barry. 
Yes, Andrew Barry, you're not getting away without any criticism in this video. Your draft picks have been terrible most of the time. Your interior D-line that you drafted, and let's be clear, most of the guys who are on this defensive line were draft picks by Andrew Barry. They have been terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. You have two guys who are in the bottom five ranked on PFF in interior line. I think it's, it's uh, Tommy Togiai and uh, Jordan Elliott. Perrion Winfrey is okay. He's not consistent, though. Andrew Barry has made terrible draft picks. He's made terrible hires. He has signed off on terrible things. He wants terrible players. Anthony Schwartz has been terrible. Literally, he hasn't been used at all since the preseason. Because you know why? He can't catch the ball. He's not a football player. He's a track star. He's not a football player. Just because he's fast doesn't mean he's going to be a good football player. Andrew Barry deserves to be fired too. I'm done with Andrew Barry. If anybody, I, look, I agree with my cousin. I would rather have Andrew Barry be fired right now than Kevin Stefanski at this moment. Because Andrew Barry has set this team up to fail. He does not want his process to be ruined or anything. That's, this, what, this is what the problem is. They, these analytics guys, right? And I, Don't get me wrong. I think analytics have a part in the game of football, right? Look at the freaking Philadelphia Eagles, right? But... This team has looked like it's become a team of ego where we need to make sure our system gets greenlit and it works in our system. And if it's not part of our system, then we can't use it. This is what Paul D. Podesta really makes me mad. He's your chief strategy officer. The dude lives in California. He doesn't even work here. Why the hell does he have a job? Just because he was in Moneyball? What have, what have, the, what have the Oakland A's done? They haven't done anything. So why the hell do we have Paul D. Bethesda, who all the time sets you up with, oh, well, it's better to do this than this than this. We have not succeeded. It has not succeeded. This whole thinking that going for a touchdown or having the ability or the opportunity to go for seven points rather than taking a field goal, that's better. What the, how the hell is that a line of thinking? Seriously, how the hell is that a line of thinking? Paul D. Podesta and Andrew Barry need to get fired. I am saying that right now, wholeheartedly. Paul D. Podesta, Andrew Barry, Joe Woods, Mike Prefer, you guys deserve to go. Kevin Stefanski, in my opinion, he deserves to be on a hot seat. If he cannot get this team in the playoffs next year, he needs to go. And in my opinion, if Mike Vrabel gets fired or Sean McVay gets fired... Or Mike McDaniels, for some, for whatever reason, if Mike McDaniels gets fired from Miami, which would be stupid, if he gets fired, all three of them are better coaches than Kevin Stefanski. All three. So if any one of them are out there, personally, I would honestly look at any three of them over Stefanski. I would bring in Brian Flores as your defensive coordinator. Personally, that's me. That's me. If you can't get uh, Mike McDaniels, if you can't get uh, Mike Vrabel, bring in Brian Flores as your defensive coordinator. For the love of God. And if you fire Stefanski and you want to keep somebody who's in-house, promote Brian Flores to your head coach. He did well in Miami. He can do well here. He's got more talent here than he did in Miami. What's to say it can't work? This season has been a joke. We have had more... More suffering in this season than last season, in my opinion. Because this team, I, in my opinion, this season hurts more. It does. It hurts more. Because you have a legitimate top five quarterback. At least he's supposed to be top five quarterback. You have, in my opinion, the best running back in the league. You have one of the top three best defensive players in the league. And you cannot finish... Above the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have a rookie quarterback and and a horrible offense. Are you fucking kidding me? This is what we had to watch. The Pittsburgh Steelers were supposed to be seven and ten this year, not us. This is what the Pittsburgh Steelers were supposed to go through. You had Jacoby Brissett playing like a top ten quarterback, and you guys couldn't get the job done. Like I said it, I will say it again. 
Joe Woods, Mike Prefer, Andrew Barry, Paul DePodesta have to go. There is no if, ands, or buts. They have not done anything to help this team. Andrew Barry's draft picks have been terrible. If John Dorsey, who gave us Nick Chubb, Denzel Ward, multiple other players, tried to give you Odell Beckham, he got you Odell Beckham, he got you Olivier Vernon, he gave you multiple players. If he can get fired for hiring Freddie Kitchens, why the hell can Andrew Barry not get fired for getting horrible draft picks year after year? For having disappointing years? Why? Unbelievable. Like I said, I'm giving them 48 hours. If I do not see Joe Woods or Mike Prefer have been fired, it's a, it's a stain on this organization, and it just proves that the Cleveland Browns are a joke. They're just still a joke. 20, we thought 2020 was going to change everything, right? Clearly it hasn't changed anything. If anything has changed, we've gone from 11 and 15, now we're down to 7 and 10. The, the, the arrow is pointing down, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cleveland Browns are going back to mediocrity. We're going back to mediocrity and being a bad football team. That's where we're going to. If something does not change. And I believe something needs to change, and it's imperative that something does change. And like I said, if Mike Vrabel is out there, if Mike Vrabel gets fired from Tennessee, you go get his ass. I do not care about Kevin Stefanski. Kevin Stefanski is showing you that this team is going down. It's not trajectorying up. It's not going up. This team has regressed the last two years. It has not gotten better. It's gotten worse. Players are criticizing the coach in public, and Kevin Stefanski looks weak. 7-10. and 10. It's a joke. It's a joke. This team should be at least ten and ten and seven. Ten and seven at least. There's no reason why we're why, why we are ten, seven and ten. And it's a stain on Andrew Barry. It's a stain on Paul Diabadesta. It's a stain on Kevin Stefanski. It's a stain on Joe Woods, and it's a stain on Mike Prefer. Something needs to change, and it better change quick. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be doing a live stream. Uh, pretty soon about uh, the off season for the Browns. Um, I'm also going to be doing a live stream for next week's NFL playoffs that are going to be starting without the Browns again. So if you guys want to see that, drop a subscribe, hit the bell notification if you are new, so you guys are notified when I go live for next weekend. So a disappointing end to a disappointing season. Ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. You got to prove it to me next year, Browns. Prove it to me next year. Prove me wrong. I'll see you guys all in another video. Take care.